Hello, I'm Dave Keating, and you're watching the Euractive Thought Leadership Series. We're coming at you today from Frankfurt, Germany, where ACMA, the World Forum for Chemical Engineering, Process Engineering, and Biotechnology, is taking place. At the start of this week-long Congress, the German Minister for Economic Affairs and Climate Action, Robert Habeck, gave an opening address in which he emphasized the role of the process industry, such as chemical and pharmaceutical technology, biotechnology, and environmental technology, as drivers for economic growth and social progress here in Germany. And he said these themes are not just buzzwords, but rather pillars on which the German government is going to pin future economic growth. So another big topic at this week's Congress has also been how to use these materials and technologies as key tools in the fight against climate change. And on that topic, we're very lucky to be joined today by Gabrielle Muruane, who is Lithium Research and Production Process Manager at SQM, a Chilean chemical company which is the world's biggest lithium producer. Gabriel has been working in research and development for 26 years and is currently leading the SQM Salar Futuro project, as well as updating technology at SQM's lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide production units. Gabriel, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you very much for your invitation. I'm glad to be here. So tell me, what's brought you to ACMA here in Frankfurt? Well, Akima is, uh, is, is the world's biggest uh, event about uh, process industry. Uh, here we can meet uh, all the major uh, uh, players uh, about uh, technology and innovation. And, and also um, us in Salar Futuro, uh, for Salar Futuro Roadmap, uh, we are looking for the best technology available. So now we, we think that this is a good place to start or to continue our road. So tell us a little bit about, I mentioned the Seller Futuro Innovation Roadmap that you're working on. What is that exactly? Well, uh, SQM uh, in 2020 uh, start with a sustainability plant that uh, looks for reduction in uh, brine extraction, uh, increasing the efficiency of lithium recovery, also reduction in the use of uh, water, uh, looking for uh, the use of zero, uh, continental water for lithium production and also the idea is uh, to reduce the carbon footprint and uh, uh, overall uh, efficiency of the of the system uh, uh, till today uh, we uh, we get about a 50 percent reduction of the of the water usage we also we, we reduce uh, about a third uh, of the brine extraction uh, increasing the, the production of lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide by three times. It means that uh, the, the overall uh, water usage uh, is, is about one third of the value we get uh, uh, four years ago. But uh, we realize that uh, from uh, our uh, sh uh, shareholders and also the other uh, stakeholders of the company, the communities, the government, and uh, our clients, that it is not enough. It is not enough, we, we need to do a different, uh, we, we, get, uh, we need to get a different approach in order to, uh, to fulfill the expectation of the people. So the idea of uh, Salar Futuro uh, Innovation Roadmap is to put uh, the best uh, available technology in the service of getting a better uh, efficiency of water, um, trying to get the, the minimum water usage and the better efficiency that is possible. So you've set out this project. What are the main objectives for the project going forward? Yeah, the, we have uh, four different uh, objectives. Uh, all of them together are, are, are putting as a sustainability, uh, putting sustainability as, a, as a, the key effort. The, the first one, is to, is to reduce the, the water usage to a minimum possible, they are close to zero. The second one is to, uh, to reduce the, the brine usage, 
so uh, increasing uh, the, the recoveries in, in the process. The, the third one is uh, to include uh, new technologies that are available for lithium recoveries. And, and finally, we need to put all, all this uh, together in, 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 in the way that we can get the, the social license uh, to operate in Salar de Atacama. So we're here at Akima where there's all kinds of different technologies, uh, materials being exhibited, and people are showing kind of the potential of these various technologies in particular. So what solutions and technologies are you guys looking at uh, to practically implement this project? We are, we are taking a look on different kinds of technologies. Uh, first of all, we think that uh, we, need to, we need to retain partially the actual production system. We need to implement gradually new technologies. And the new technologies we are, we are, we are thinking about are uh, 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 four of them. Uh, um, the first one is about filtration. We are, we are, we are going to use membranes uh, for a selective uh, separation of different kinds of ions. The idea is to concentrate and separate the lithium compared to other ions that are present in the brines. Uh, se secondly, we want to use uh, uh, mechanical evaporation of the brines in order to recover water and be more efficient about the recoveries of lithium. Uh, in, in third place, we are uh, including uh, different kinds of uh, direct lithium extraction, DLEs technologies. Uh, we are considering their, them as part of the project but uh, we, we need to limit them because of the, of the water and energy usage. Uh, and finally, we are, are, are going to include uh, uh, also the evaporation ponds that are, are actually in the system, together with other technologies that are going to be complementary uh, uh, in order to uh, have uh, the, the best energy, energy, energy usage in the system. The main problem is that uh, Salar de Atacama is, is not really uh, a, an, an economic development area. So it is uh, the, the, the last challenge is to get a, a, re a renewable uh, source of energy for the whole project. So it is also part of, uh, of, of the difficulties. Yeah, you mentioned the challenges. So using this direct lithium extraction, DLE, what are the other challenges that you guys are encountering specifically at Salar Datacama, which presents, as you said, its, its own unique set of challenges? Yes, uh, when, when, when looking about uh, direct lithium extraction technologies, uh, uh, we have a, a, a broad uh, 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 um, selection of technologies that are, are available. The problem is that most of them uh, requires uh, uh, um, a, a lot of water and energy. So we need to, we need to be careful about how to select the technology uh, in order to be sustainable. The second problem about using, uh, using the DLE technologies is that uh, the actual plants that are, are, are already running are uh, small units. They are um, normally in the size between 10 to 20,000 tons per year of uh, lithium carbonate equivalent. The, 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 uh, the, the comparison to the SQM size is that uh, the next year we are expecting to get about 200,000 uh, tons of lithium carbonate equivalent. So 10 times the, the, the normal size of a, of a lithium extraction plant. So there is no technology that uh, could meet the, the size of uh, our operation. The, the, the third problem that is uh, also uh, a, 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 an important aspect is that we need to fit this kind of technology with the, uh, the renewable source of energy. It, uh, it has no sense to implement new technologies if we are going to increase the carbon footprint. So we need to be, we, we need to be uh, uh, clear that we need to renew also the energy source. And, the, and finally, we need to do all this uh, in, in, the, in harmony with the communities and, uh, and, and the, uh, uh, all the uh, 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 stakeholders that are surrounding us. So we need to, we need to fulfill the uh, expectations about what is necessary to do in the project. 
Now, here at Akama, there's all kinds of partnerships being forged. You've got uh, people networking, making connections, and seeing how their different businesses can, can cooperate with each other. Now, SQM has recently announced a new agreement with Codelco, which is going to uh, run for the continuous, continuance of operations in Salar Datakama until 2060, I believe. So how will the roadmap change or be pursued differently under the new partnership? Well, uh, you are right. Uh, um, in May uh, 31, we, we signed the, the agreement with Codelco. Uh, that, uh, that agreement uh, need, to be, uh, need to be reviewed by several authorities, uh, also European authorities, American authorities, uh, and, and uh, major clients uh, should be uh, notified about uh, this new agreement. And also the, 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 the local, uh, local authorities, the local communities need to check about the conditions of the agreement in order to, uh, to fulfill their, the, what they are thinking about. And as, as we get uh, uh, authorization of uh, the, the different authorities, we are going to start with the, with the, with the new joint venture. And the, a, a key pillar of the new the, the joint venture is the implementation of the Salar Futuro Innovation Roadmap. This, this uh, selection of technologies is going to be uh, the foundation of what we need to do in the next 30 years for Salar Datacama. So it is, uh, it is going to be supported by the, by the joint venture and also the finance of, of the project is coming from there. Okay. Um, so, as we look forward to that future date, 2060, how do we measure success? What are the ingredients that will be necessary to make sure that the project's a success? And how do you measure whether success has been attained? Well, in, in order to be successful, uh, uh, the, the most important is to have a clear, a clear goal, uh, an objective that uh, you need to fulfill. So, uh, it, it it, it is the starting point. Later, you need to commit. You, you need to uh, commit a group of people in order to work behind that, that goal, that vision. So, the, we, in SQM, we prepare a group of people that uh, has a lot of experience, more than 25 years of experience, in order to work uh, 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 in the project. So, uh, we define the, the Salar Futuro Innovation Roadmap, and later we put uh, the, the the budget. Uh, the R&D budget, and, uh, and, and we prepare the people and the agreements with different universities, innovation centers, and, uh, and, uh, and partners in order to look for uh, the solution of the different problems that are happening in order to get the, 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 final, the final solution. And thinking about that, the most important is to have always a long-term view about what uh, we are doing. Not to, not to look all, uh, only to the, to the short-term uh, contracts, but always look about what is going to happen during the following 30 years. So this is a project that is going to, it is starting now, but it is going to need about uh, seven to 10 years to be implemented completely. Okay. So I mentioned that uh, here at Akuma, there's lots of networking going on. So you're, a, it's, a, it's a Chilean project. But I wonder if you're thinking about European entities, European partners that you could possibly partner with. How might um, European companies, partners be involved in the project as well? Well, uh, European companies and uh, partners are already involved. Uh, we, we start several years ago with uh, SUM Lithium Ventures Capital and, 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 and using that uh, uh, entity, we, uh, we already uh, implement uh, some agreements with uh, European companies uh, in, in different countries, including the, the investment uh, by in buying 20% uh, of, uh, of a French DLE company, Adionix. Uh, because we, we, we are sure that uh, the, the innovation uh, that is happening in Europe is always uh, more, more complete of, uh, and holistic than compared to Latin America. Chile is a, is a very small company, it's a small, a small country. Uh, we don't have enough, uh, uh, enough people to develop uh, such a big project. So we need uh, the help uh, of, uh, and, and the support 
of uh, bigger companies uh, and universities that are, are in Europe. So you mentioned that Chile is a small country, but of course every country has its role to play in the global effort to fight climate change. How do you see Chile's role in the overall global uh, fight against climate, ch climate change? Yes, uh, well, Chile is a, is a, is a, is a small country, but uh, we are a major producer of uh, uh, key raw materials uh, for, for, new, for, for the new energy uh, economy. Uh, Chile is uh, one of the major uh, copper uh, producers worldwide, and we are also the, one of the major lithium producers uh, for, for battery production. So one of the, of the good things about uh, the agreement uh, SQM is signing with, uh, with uh, Codelco and the Chilean government it, it, it is that this is the, the first step in the ongoing process of the, of, of, of the new uh, lithium strategy that is happening in the country that is opening the, is opening the door for new investment in, uh, for different uh, companies, including European companies that are, are going there to invest in lithium production. Um, it, we've had a lot of European cooperation with Chile lately. We've had a number of milestones, and one of those is the raw materials partnership that uh, about one year ago uh, was signed between the EU and Chile. How are those partnerships, in particular the raw material partnerships, going to impact uh, your projects and also uh, kind of lithium projects in general? Yeah, we, we think that uh, this is a really, really uh, a, a, good, a good point because uh, uh, nowadays uh, the Chilean president is coming to, to, to Germany uh, also to talk with the, with the European authorities about how to collaborate uh, deeply about uh, the, 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 the new projects. Uh, uh, the, the development of uh, raw materials like uh, lithium depends on the, uh, uh, strongly about uh, foreign investment. So the, um, the signals that are happening from the European community are, are helping to the de development of the internal uh, industry in Chile. So when you get back to Chile, how are, how's what you learned here at ACOMA, the, the contacts you made, how are they going, that's going to impact how you move forward in Chile? And what are the next steps for the project going forward to meet those future goals that you were talking about? Well, we are, we are uh, now fin finalizing the, the, the design of the project uh, of the uh, Salar Futuro Innovation Roadmap. The conceptual design is almost finished. And now we need to continue with the assessment of the project, we need to we need to define the environmental assessment. We need to uh, communicate uh, with uh, with the communities that are surrounding the project in order to get agreement with them about how to implement the project. We need to agree with the with the authorities and with the clients about how to proceed uh, in order to to be uh, to be fair in order to fulfill their expectations and also we need to continue with uh, with looking for R&D and innovation partners because we need to uh, we need to continue solving uh, problems that are happening in the in the road uh, the idea of SQM of SQM is uh, is to continue with a, a, an open innovation program in order to get solutions that uh, uh, could come from uh, abroad in order to solve uh, the technical problems that are happening. Well, it's certainly going to be an interesting project to watch over there in Chile. Gabriel Meruana, thank you so much for joining us here in Frankfurt for the Your Active Thought Leadership interview. Oh, thank you for the invitation. It was nice to meet you.